Welcome to Java Programming Tutorials. In this video, we will be discussing about access protection in package in Java. So, first of before we start access protection, first of all we should understand that the advantage of using Java package. Basically, Java package is used for uh, grouping the classes and interfaces uh, when you are creating a Java application. So, we can categorize it in one package, uh, one set of uh, classes and another package we can create for grouping another set of classes and interfaces. So, basically it is used to categorize the classes and interfaces so that they can be easily maintained. So, when you do that, we also will be getting a very important benefit called access protection. So, it provides access protection as well as there is another uh, benefit is it will resolve the naming conflict between uh, same class names we can use it in different packages so that it will avoid the naming conflict. Let us move on to the access protection. So, one of the uh, one of the very important advantages access protection. So, let us talk about access protection in ja Java package. So, what is access protection is how uh, the data and functions in a Java class can be accessible from another package from one package to another package that is called access protection. Okay. So, for example, basically when you create a Java class we used to include data and functions. So, that data and function how we can visible how we can access from uh, when you create a different package from different package uh, when you create a class or a when you create a subclass how that class the subclass and non subclass can access the data and function from another package. So, here package defines another levels of access protection. So, in Java there are four access specifiers. First one is private, next is public, next protected, next is default. So, private means one, it is accessible only inside the same class. Okay, Private means we can understand it is only in the, the particular class can access. When you put public, if you, if you make any data or functions as a public, it is it becomes universal access. So, universal access means from anywhere we can access the data and functions. The next we have a protected. So, protected actually uh, it gives access called same package level. So, here when it comes to protected it comes of package level. Package is similar to a folder. So, under which we will be including some classes right. So, inside that folder any class can access the data the protected data members as well as protector will give another level of access for subclasses alone. Suppose if the subclass you are creating in a different package, the subclass alone can access this protected member. So, this is an additional uh, additional access uh, visibility of a protected uh, keyword. And then there is another very important call, uh, uh, access level called default. So, default means there is no keyword is involved. Okay, if you are not using private or public or protected it becomes default. So, default means only in the same package level same folder level we can able to access it. Okay, right. So, here uh, these are the access different levels of access protection. Let us we will understand these uh, four access levels in a, uh, another uh, another uh, uh, categories. Let us see let us understand the uh, various accessibility. So, uh, when it comes to package when you use package package addresses five categories of accessibility or visibility for class members. So, first one is same class, second one is same package subclass, third one is same package non subclass, fourth one is different package subclass and fifth one is different package non subclass. So, when it comes to same package private is allowed, default is accessible, protected is accessible, public is accessible. When it comes to same package and subclass, private is not accessible and default is accessible, protected is accessible, public is accessible. Same package non subclass, private is not accessible and default is accessible, def uh, protected is accessible, public is accessible. Similarly, we have another level different package subclass and different package non subclass. So, when it comes to different package, private is not at all accessible default is not at all accessible. Why? Because default is only in same package only we can access the default. When it comes to protected, if it is subclass, it will give access. When it comes to, since it is a subclass, this is, uh, this uh, protected can be accessible. Right. So, this is actually about uh, protected special accessibility. And when it comes to public, it is accessible. 
uh, non if it is non subclass the private is not accessible and default is not accessible and protected is not accessible only the public is accessible so this is a different levels of accessibility when you are using the package so let's i'll give a one example how to understand this accessibility so i'll create a project in eclipse id so i have a project here in eclipse id and when i create a project there is a src folder will be created so we can create a we can create two package first package is pack1 and also we'll create one more package pack2 so now let's go to the pack1 we'll add one class called a simple class called a so class name is a just for understanding so now i have created a class a in pack1 here i am going to create some data int a is equal to 10 then private int b is equal to 20 then protected int c is equal to 30 so protected then followed by the next one is public public int d is equal to 40 so here uh, if you are not using any keyword the default by default we used to write int d equal to 10 right so this is called default access specifier or access modifier you can say that access modifier so here uh, the default means uh, there is no keyword that you have to understand right so now let's create one function to display the value of this a b c d so we'll create a function void view first i'm going to display a similarly we can display the all the data so a b c and d so so here i'm going to display a value and b value and c value right so now when when we see that here the a value and b value is actually we can able to access there is no error uh, when you if you call this function if you call this function from any any class right if you execute this program uh, we can understand that this uh, program will execute without any uh, without any errors why means so here let's un understand the accessibility so here you can see this view function is a same class right view function is the same class belongs to the a where you have the data a b c d the a b c d data and the view function is both are in same class so when you try to access this is accessible this we can access right it is accessible and what about b so b is also accessible b also we can access so first one a is why, how a is accessible since it is a same class okay same since it is a same class we can able to access a is here the view function is a belongs to a so we can a we can access similarly uh, b is a private data even though it is a private uh, since view function is a same class we can able to access and c we can access we can access c also we can access and d you can access since it is the same class we can access protected private all the data we can access now if you see that same class if it is same class if you want to access the data private is yes default is yes and protected also yes and we have public also x yes, right so that's why it is accessible otherwise we'll be heading a error here when we uh, immediately will be getting a red color error if it is not accessible so this is about first category next next we'll see another category called same package same package subclass okay same package subclass for example i have a class a in pack 1 in pack 1 i have a class called a if i create a one more class b which is a subclass of a which is a subclass of a so here assume that i want to access this a value b value and c value right so what i'm going to do is i'll create a function like this and I'll change the function name to display. 
right now see that the b class is a subclass of a class which belongs to the same package now a and b is same package a and b is same package but it is subclass b is a subclass now if you see that which is accessible a is accessible there is no error red color line is not there so it is accessible what about b so when it comes to b look at this b there is a error is there error the field a is not visible okay the field a is not sorry b field b is not visible so why because this b is private in in a class b is private in b a class so it is not able we cannot access not accessible and what about c c is accessible d is accessible all other data is accessible only private data is not accessible from super class to the sub class so that's what given here okay same package sub classes for private it is no not accessible remaining all yes yes so remaining all we can access the next take the third one same package non sub class so same package will create another class called c which is not a sub class so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create another function view function and i'll create one object for a class so since it is not a sub class we have to create object and we have to access the data ob.a ob.b then ob.c then ob.d so now when i try to access the data a b c d from a class from a class to the c class now look at this it is a non sub class it is a non sub class and this is a sub class so when it comes to non sub class the when it comes to a a is accessible why because a is a default access level so default access level uh, we can access within the same package because a and c is in same package only so we can able to access this a variable we can able to access from this uh, c class and what about b b still we are getting the error uh, b is not visible so here you cannot access because it is private since it is private due to private it is not accessible to the other class uh, even though it is in the same class it is not accessible Sim similar for the sub class also it is not accessible right and what about c c we can able to access d we can able to access so if you see that same package non sub class private is not accessible other remaining items are accessible okay remaining items are remaining default protected access is accessible so fourth one is different package sub class now we are coming to the different package so let's go to the left side here pack one a class i have created under a a dot java file i have three classes class a class b and class c we have seen the accessibility now i am going to pack to i'll create another class cl called d d class so inside d class we are going to understand different package sub class different package sub class what are the accessibility private not able to access default you cannot access only accessible is protected and public only accessible is protected and public so i have a class d i want to access the class a a class from pack 1 so now uh, it's very important to understand that it is in different package right so a class is in pack 1 and d class is in pack 2 i want to access from d class okay and i want to make this d class as a sub class of a sub class of a now look at this a class a class is actually public right so we can able to import so first we need to import pack 1 dot a so after importing we can create a sub class a so public class extend d extend c right so that's what we are going to understand different package sub class so different package means from pack 1 a class i want create a sub class in pack 2 d d is a sub class extends now let's see how we can access so first one is a a is a what is access level a is a default access level since it is a default access level the default means only package level default is a package level access package level same package only 
you can access same package okay so when you try to access from pack to it is not accessible so see that red color error and uh, the error a is not accessible a is not visible so we cannot access and private b is private so you see that b is private since it is private the b is also not accessible and c and d we can able to access by using since it is a protected and so protected as i told already the protected will give accessibility to the subclass also protected means same package level only for subclass of different package only for subclass of different package so uh, different package subclass protected is yes so you can understand here how c is we can access there is no error when we access c from a class from d class okay from d class i am trying to access the c data from a class due to this extends we can able to access since it is a protected okay so we can able to access since it is protected protected okay so this is a of the fifth fourth category the fifth one is different package non subclass different package when it comes to different package non subclass private is not accessible default is not accessible and protected is not accessible only accessible is public public is only accessible so if i create one more class in this pack to now let's understand different package and non subclass so if you go to a class a class belongs to pack 1 and i have another file called d.java where i have created pack 2 so in pack 2 if i create one more class which is a non subclass which is a non subclass right so for example class e non subclass this is a subclass this is a subclass and this is a non subclass so when i create non subclass let's see how we, we can access see if, so first we have to import the pack from pack 1 first we have to import a then after importing first since it is a non subclass we have to create object for the a we have to create object for the a class and using this a object on this object only we can able to access ob dot a and similarly ob dot b and ob dot c ob dot d so like this we have to access the data from this different package pack one a class data now let's see what are the data we can access a is not accessible see we are getting error red color line a is not visible so not access and b is also not access we are getting the error and look at the c c is also getting error c is not visible so it is not access and only d is accessible so why it is accessible due to public so if you want to access non subclass from different package it must be public the data must be public so only the public data can be accessible to the different package if it is a non subclass if it is a subclass the protected and public we can access right and when it comes to same class uh, only pri uh, when it comes to same class all are accessible when it comes to uh, in uh, subclass same package when it comes to subclass same package uh, that uh, uh, private is not accessible remaining all uh, data accessible similarly same package non subclass only private is not accessible different uh, remaining data is accessible so that's all about that's all about the access protection mechanism in java package